Hi, welcome to John's Belt at Tina Ventures. Here we are. Search your face tree and I'm with my mate Michael. We're on a uh, uh, field where I found a load of coins. Well, we'll call this the field of dreams, John, to be, uh, to be honest. You found some really nice coins out of this. We've been on it for about 20 minutes so far, just walking down to the bottom of the field to get going. And hopefully we'll turn out an awful lot of good stuff. I'm, I'm hopeful about this field and I hope you are too. There we go, first dig out, uh, number 18 on the 800, an old, old horseshoe. Near the stile, uh, this was a 1617, there's the hole, I've just filled it back up now. And this is what came out. This is a uh, interesting little thing with a shape on the here, I don't know what that is. Don't know whether it's hallmarked, don't know whether it's silver. We'll have to clean that up when we get home and take a look. But there you are. Have a look at that in the size of my hand. Quite interesting, that. Right, look at these. This is the style that keeps on giving. So far, we've had a 10 pence, uh, a weird thing, a horseshoe, uh, that funny little coin thing, and now this, a badge of some description. It's got writing on, but I can't see what it says yet. Could be an old military badge. Pretty interesting. 70. Center. Let's see if we can get it within the range of the. It's down there somewhere. Down there. There we go. This is a solid 21 on the hole, and it came straight out. Bit of personal grooming there. Not sure if there are any um, hallmarks on it yet, but it feels a bit too light to be silver, so I think it's just a, a farmer's bit of personal grooming kit. Uh-huh. Bit dirty, eh? Hey. Bit dirty up, Benny. All right, I just got a solid 21 here on what I'm calling the field of dreams out of this little hole. And uh, I thought that was a massive silver coin and it's a massive <whistles> cap of disappointment. <laughs> Never mind. Found an amazing old field. Ruins of an old, what looks like a farmhouse or barn or something down there. John's found about six coins so far on this patch of land here, which is amazing. I've dug up some monster sheets of le uh, lead and bits of tin can. And believe me, whoever was here like 20 years or less ago loved Coca-Cola. But there's John doing his thing. Otherwise, when he's out on his own, this is the loneliness of the long distance digger. 50? 15 there, what's that then? Oh, it's a coin. It's a coin of... Yep, Georgia fifth. I would think it's a Victorian dress weight. That's what that is, made of lead. And that was 50. Probably a bit of Victorian. 43. Oh, it's a buckle. 
It's a buckle. Hey, buckle. 1819. Enjoy. Jolly good. Well, there you go. Look at that last nice building there, old building, probably Victorian. There's Michael over there in the corner, digging away. This is where we are. Ah, that was 68. <laughs> I think some sort of gas tap. Probably Victorian. Or oh, gas fitting. Silver! They call me Long John Silver. Okay, I haven't even seen the other side of it yet. Let's have a 19. Oh, nice, man. There we are. 1946. I bet you. Oh, no, it's 1939. 1939, day, year the Second World War was declared. There you go. This is right. treasure and coin day today. Happy with that one. I've dug out four targets so far and found four little things. I thought it was artifact day today, but it's artifact and silver coin day as well. Yeah, we woohoo! <laughs> Rock and roll, bambinos! So, this is what I found today. Some sort of gas thing. Tap and all different buttons and nice buckle, I suppose. But look at all these coins. Mixture of George III, Victoria, George V and George VI. That's what uh, Michael found. And what is that? Some sort of, it's maybe a candle snuffer, I don't know. <laughs> uh, some sort of badge, maybe a military badge. Got to investigate. And all these different variations of coins can Victoria, George V and buttons. And then of course he's got the silver as a lad. <laughs> George VI. Silver. 1939, Second World War period. Ah yes, we've come to the end of a great detecting day, me and Michael. Had some <sighs> great fun. Finishing off with this coffee. Oh, 10,000 steps done today. 10,000 steps is it, mate? Eight and a half kilometres, yeah. We've, we've walked some, some we've, we've lost some weight. And Up we've and down that hill. Fit as a fiddle, fit as a fiddle. Fit as a butcher's dog. <laughs> <laughs> Had a great time. Finds of the day go to the rookie again, I must tell you. <laughs> Not only did I pull out a silver, a little George V, 1939, I found something very weird, a pixie's hat. We don't know what it is yet. Looks like a little brass or... I've, I've filmed it so you can see it later, but um, we'll go and investigate that. And also a military badge of some description with a crown on it and some nice writing on it. Don't know what that is yet. But John cleaned up on the coins, you were like... <laughs> Yeah. You're like a coin magnet today, Jono. <laughs> I did well on the hey. coins. No silver though, but what can you do? You can't have everything. So all I can say is uh, thanks for watching and catch you on another adventure. Oh, yes. <laughs>